everybody, it's Christina from Card Making Magic. Today I'm going to use the Falling Leaves Dies and Embossing Folder and this is the free gift with this month's Die Cutting Essentials. This will be in your bookstalls, in your supermarkets and your craft shops on the 18th of August. And if you wanted to subscribe to the magazines, you can always go to moremags.co.uk to make your subscription. So this is a really useful little gift set. You have the embossing folder and different coloured inks will produce different coloured patterns for you. So this is just some that we've got. And this one is done with Versamark and silver embossing powder and heated. And that's a lovely effect for your cards. Now when you get the dies they're all joined together and they will stay this way for quite some time but eventually the little bridges will break and the dies will become separated so you need to make sure that you don't lose these tiny ones. Now if you wanted to use these dies separate in the first place then you need to separate them via these bridges here that are between the dies. So you need to just snip carefully in there and snip it from both ends because it does it, it will be sharp if you don't smooth the edges down. And then you can use the dies separately. Now they also cut but they also deboss the card which leaves a really pretty pattern in there um, for your for you to use. Now if you use the die as it is and you take it out of the card you will have this left in your card and this is a really pretty stencil template for you to use on your cards. So all I've done with this is just ink through this this template with some blue ink and it's put the pattern into the card and then I've just gone over it with some Wink of Stella which gives it a nice glossy look, a nice shiny look and that's such an easy way to make a card and I've just used everything that was in that set. Backed it onto some pretty paper, wrapped it with some ribbon and there you have a nice little card, especially for a mail card. So there's one idea to use um, the dies. This is another, this is just using autumn colours and again this would make an ideal card for men. So I've just cut this in different shades of green and brown and the autumn um, tan colour and that's a pretty card there to use. Then I've used it again with um, mirror card, gold mirror card, stamped and embossed a gold sentiment and just added some cream and some green leaves behind a cream flower with a little bit of glitter on them. Then another thing I've done is I've cut myself a background and a happy birthday stamp and I've added in some flowers and just pinched up the leaves to add behind this little display. And then last but not least I have um, faux letter pressed the, the background onto some um, smooth card. I've cut myself a gold frame and some gold leaves green leaves are tucked behind the flower and I've just put a little sentiment in and took some leaves behind it and I finished this one off with some diamante uh, embellishments. So there you've got some ideas for this, um, this free gift and I'm going to show you another one as we make the card. So with this one, this is um, it's faux letterpress, so what I've done is with a brayer and some distress inks I have inked up one side of the, the folder. I have put my card inside, closed it up and run it through the die cutting machine with the, the emboss sandwich. And once it comes out you will have that pattern in your card. And then I've simply chosen to trim this down going around some of the leaves. So for the rest of the card I have created myself a top folding uh, base card. I have stamped and embossed a sentiment and then I've embossed it through a, a, another folder with a different pattern on it and that's going to sit on my card and then I have trimmed the pattern around the leaves and that's going to sit along there 
and before I add that to the card I'm going to wrap this with some ribbon. So the foam pads in under there separate the two layers. So this will then have the ribbon wrapped around it. So once the, the ribbon is in place and I've added this to the base card, I've just added in a little bow with a beautiful embellishment in the middle. And then underneath the bow, I've just tucked in all the little leaves and I've raised them up with foam pads just to keep them off the card. But that's a really easy birthday card to make. And if you change the colours, it could be for anybody. So there you have a collection of ideas on using the free gift with die cutting essentials issue number 14. I do hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please give it the thumbs up and why not subscribe to my channel so that you never miss a video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.